Okay, what is up everybody? Welcome to the channel, it's Sebs, and it's Easter. I'm trying to do a better job at making Easter just that much more meaningful to me this year. A lot of that is thanks to my wife. She's just crushing it and making sure that we like have our, our, our daughters talk about the meaning of Easter and think about things. And so anyway, in that context, I've had several people on, on the channel a tip and donate for the channel asking us to check out Dan Vasque's a version of Gethsemane from Jesus Christ Superstar. I have never listened to a single song from Jesus Christ Superstar. So I asked somebody, um, what's, what's the version of Gethsemane that I should check out? And, and they said that when they think about, <laughs> like their picture of Jesus is this Ted Neely guy. There's even a comment down here that says this. Yeah, literally the top comment. Oh my gosh, he turned 80 on September 20, 2023. When people speak of Jesus, Tenny Lee is how I picture him. So um, I'm going to check this out. So this video is going to be, you know, thank you for coming to hang out with my first time checking out anything Jesus Christ Superstar related. Actually, I think in show choir in ninth grade, I think we sang, we sang like a medley, right? And I think one of like one of the short pieces there was from the show. So we're going to check this out. And then part two is going to be, let's check out how Dan Vask, a metal singer, covers it. But anyway, thank you all for being here. I hope you're having a meaningful Easter. Maybe you're Christian, maybe you're not. It seems like this, from just going through the comments, there's a lot of non-Christians who appreciate this. So let's roll it. Will no one stay awake with me? Oh, wow. When he's talking to his Peter. apostles. John, James. Will none of you wait with me? Peter, John, James. I only want to say if there is a way take this cup away from me oh beautiful for i don't want to taste its poison feel it burn me i have changed i'm not as sure as when we started then I didn't expect a beat to drop that hard. Now I'm sad and tired. Listen, surely I've exceeded expectation. I've tried for three years. Seems like thirty. Well, wow. could you ask as much? from any other man okay 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 these are mandatory pauses bro i have to do them so believe me they drive me as as nuts as you so we're gonna keep them brief the story of christ suffering in gethsemane is the what is perhaps the story that made you know converted me um you know when he's asking his apostles like won't you just stay with me like stay up with me during this time of suffering no bro i allow either laziness or other things to make me not be there with him you know and that would th those questions impacted me okay so this is dope it's like pretty accurate and like the, the the way i would think about this conversation he was having when he was asking for this cup to be taken from him like this is how i imagine it so but with it being like it's rock it's like soft rock this is dope as all get out his voice is beautiful from any other man but if i die see the saga through and do the things you ask of me let them hate me hit me hurt me nail me to the tree i want to know want to know my god want to know want to know my god want to see want to see my god want to see want to see my god why i should die 
Could I be more noticed mm. than I ever was before? Would the things I've said and done matter anymore? I'd have to know, I'd have to know my lord Have to know, have to know my lord Have to see, have to see my lord Have to see, have to see my lord If I die, what will be my reward? If I die, what will be my reward? Have to know, have to know my lord Have to know, I'd have to know my lord Should I okay. die? Can you show me now? I would not be killed in vain. Show me just a little of your omnipresent brain. Show me there's a reason for your body. Okay. I feel like this is, if this is the part people are clapping, it's a part where I can commentary. Performance wise, holy crap, dude. Actually, sorry for saying that. I feel like with the subject matter here, I should at least speak like somewhat of an adult and not like a 12 year old. Holy smokes. Okay. I see why people want me to check out Dan Vass cover it because if he's going to hit those, okay. Um, unbelievable performance there to me not in my interpretation not scripturally accurate of maybe what this would have been like but i think accurate and maybe what he would have felt we'll talk about that maybe later at the end of the video you know my thoughts but nonetheless dude powerful powerful rushed it He's this is where he's bleeding from every pore and going through it, man. Sad and tired. After all, I've tried for three years. Seems like ninety. Why then am I scared to finish what I started? When you started, I didn't start it. God, thy will is hard, but you hold every card. I will drink your cup of poison, nail me to your cross and break me.
Oh, yeah. Okay. I love that interpretation of the Garden of Gethsemane and, what, and the things that happened there. There is so much emotion and, just, and, and raw talent. So when it's both, you know, like, look how he moved his cast, bro. <clears throat> what I like about, okay, so this is interesting with this show and that performance. They're trying to make it, accept, one, accessible, but then relatable, right? I mean, if it's God who then became man, we would want him to, we, we'd like to see some of us in him for the story of him overcoming all things to impact us that much more, right? And so I think they're trying to evoke and uh, they're trying to get that meaning across and, I, and they did it great. Oh, this is where we start getting emotional. But I've I've had those like those sorts of conversations, right, with God. And then if Christ is my advocate in those prayers, it's because he he knows what I what I am going through way more so than I do. So I like that they really um, express that and symbolize that scriptural scriptural accuracy, things like that. Honestly, who cares? Does the performance make me think about him and think about my beliefs and, and all that stuff? Yeah. And that's the mission accomplished. And now and now if we are to nitpick and I'll provide some sort of, you know, our interpretation, um, I don't think he asked the, the why questions. I think he knew what he was getting himself into. I mean, I think he knew who he was, clearly. I mean, that's why we have him uh, testify in front of the, you know, at the synagogues and them kick him out. Uh, before Gethsemane, he was warning his apostles multiple times about what was going to happen, right? And so I think he knew what was going to happen. But what I love of what their interpretation is that even I think even though he knew what was what he had to do, I don't think he understood what it was all going to feel like because even though he was sinless and perfect, he had to understand what it felt like when we, when we mess up and feel like grace is nowhere for us to feel and experience. It's just gone. When we feel too far gone. And I, I think he, he probably didn't anticipate what that would feel like. So he really had to feel the full spectrum of perhaps the pain we would feel. And I think they evoked that in a way that really hit me. I mean, why else would he ask Father, if thou be willing, will that take this cup from me? It's like, I know we, I know this is what we have to do, but the pain and how could he sucker us without understanding the pain and having actually gone through it? Okay, so he hits a G5 there. Where was this again? I love this feature that if you hover over the timeline, it tells you like the most replayed part. If I die, what will be my reward? Have to know, have to know, my Lord. Have to know, have to know, my Lord. Look how much it hits everyone, dude. Should I die? Can you show me now? Yeah. I would not be killed in vain. Show me just a little of your omnipresent brain. Okay. I mean, again, if you through in different versions of the gospel, then that's when, you know, God sends an angel to sucker him so that he can go through this. So, yeah, I, dude, I love that. This is why art is important. It makes you consider and think about other things. What an impressive note. I love this interpretation. Well, what would you guys think? I don't feel like us talking, you know, nitpicking on accuracies and things as such. Just sometimes we need to feel and hey, bro, I'm feeling things here on. On Easter week, so perfect. I got to get going to work, so um, I might film the Dan Vask Get 70 uh, version uh, tomorrow, but that was cool. Thank you guys for clicking on here if you're here. Much love to all of you. Whether you're Christian or not, all of us have to bear a cross. Jesus is a great, perhaps the best, uh, the best model for us to take, you know, courage from. But let's go bear our own crosses, man. Much love, everybody. Till the next one.